Welcome to Denver, everybody. A team that moved here in 1996 from Quebec, and they immediately won, building a strong fan base here in Denver. Opening face-off is just seconds away. The Avs have won the draw, and we are now underway. Jostled off the puck. Looks to make a play over to Belmar. Slides the puck to Branstrom. Moves it to Magda. Gets a glint on it to make the save. Quick pass to Johnston. The Stars played along the wing. Oh, they telegraphed the pass and he picks it off. Into the offensive end, right up the middle. Here's a short pass to Belmar. No room for that one to get through. And he makes the save on that play. They are really starting to apply the pressure here in the offensive end. Lots of time left in this period. We've still got zeros on the board. Phillips wins it in the offensive zone. With the blast. Big time shot block there. Moves it over to Kimaranta. Takes it off, but he's still got the puck. Solid check to slow him down. Marshman's been tripped up, and we got a penalty coming up here. Oh, and what a hit! Some players get into the game by physical. Oh, goodness, it stayed out. What a save! It was all but in James, and that athleticism and the will to get to that buck, that was on display. These are typically easy calls for officials to make as the opponent goes falling to the ice at the hands of your stick. Tough one to take. the first look at the power play. Well, James, an opportunity to see the league's top-ranked power play, their first one of the game to get the go-ahead goal. And what a line this is. They can move the puck, the ability to find open lanes, and man, can they shoot. Moves it quickly over to Stankhoven. He grabs the puck here at the point. Point point stopped by Newton. Colton has spent so much time doing tracking exercises, and it's utilized right here as he knows where this puck is coming from and he makes the save. Kelly's recognizing they're still shorthanded here as they get ready for the faceoff. Dallas wins possession right off the draw. Big time stop! There it is! The power play goal in the back of the net! Coaches love to draw it up and you work on it in practice. This was executed perfectly. Dallas has the game's first goal. They've changed the complexion now of this opening frame. Yeah, the complete mindset to redirect right here. When you get a goal, it's emotional. You're charged. The physical component, you start to engage more. So expect to find these next few shifts really energetic and on their opponent. Colorado's in transition. The Avalanche have the puck against the boards. Grabs it in his own end. Through center along the wing. Colorado's ready to go on the attack. Absolutely rocks him on the play, and that sends a message to the bench. Quick feed to Megna. Quick shot, and that goes off the body. Feeds it on over to Lynn. Here's a chance! Oh, and an even bigger save on the slapper! Scooped up along the wall by Migna. Streaking into the attacking zone from the right. Takes a shot! Oh, he gets a blocker on him! What a stop by Helbert! Moves it to Hughes. Scores! And they run it back with another! Yeah, back-to-back -back goals. You can feel the energy, the wave momentum and the tides have turned here James they need to keep the pedal to the metal a great shot is going to beat the goaltender here James but he drops to that butterfly position he tries to take up most of the net but the shooter just finds it finds a little bit of room and buries it
Dallas looks dialed in tonight. Now adding another goal here in the first. They've been dominant, James, and the two goals is just a reward for all of their efforts. They've worked hard, but they've been consistent. Now the question will remain. There's a lot of runway left. Can they bring it in the second and the third? Colorado's got the puck along the wall. And a stick breaks that up. goings of the period. Dallas seems to be looking for more after increasing their lead to two goals. And off the draw, they'll take possession. Through with the neutral zone, moving the puck along the side. The Stars take it along the wall. Taken by Harley. The avalanche of the puck in the defensive zone. Drives to the paint. Turned aside with the glove by Helberg. Dallas moves it quickly along the wing. The Avalanche have gained control of the puck along the wall. Along the side, here they come through the neutral zone. Sends it out in front. Scores! What an opportunity and delivers. It. I mean, he's stumbling, so he almost falls, but he's able to get a shot off just in time. He's able to hold himself up and get that shot off. His hands away from his body, not the greatest position, but he manages to find the back of the net. Officials are in position, and both teams are getting ready as they get set for another face-off here. The Avs win it. Reaches out and uses the stick. Period number one is done. Now we're going to come back in just a quick moment with period number two. Stay with us. Fans back in their seats. Teams are on the ice. They're ready to drop the puck here for period number two. The second stanza is underway as the puck is dropped. Let's go. Sorry, James. Didn't on your toes, but that was a massive hit, and now the play continues. With authority. Moves it around along the half wall. And that's intercepted by Johnston. Phillips is creating a ton of energy out there because of his drive and compete level. I mean, he is off balance, stumbling, and still manages to find the puck and get it to the net. This creates a scoring chance. Yeah, it doesn't go in, but what it does is it creates energy for his entire team as they build momentum. Johnston's really laboring as he leaves the game, James. He's going to make his way down the tunnel with some assistance from the medical staff here because he cannot put any weight on that one leg. Big part of this team, and obviously they are going to have to do without him for the next indefinite period until we get a medical update here. Quick pass to Magda. The Stars get a hold of the puck in their own end. And he takes the feed. Here's a short pass to Belmar. Colorado's on the attack. Grabs the puck. Turns it aside with the save. Dallas moves ahead with the puck. From the right wing, he moves it to the middle. Turning to the front of the net. Fantastic save. Now these are the saves when you know that your goaltender is dialed in, James. The ability to get to the top of the crease and be square to the shooter, that's a great save. There's a great club save by Anunit. I'm not sure where the defense is, but I'll tell you what, the goaltender has been outstanding, made a flurry of saves to keep his team in this one. Plenty of playing time left in this frame. Dallas leads it 2-1. And they win the offensive zone faceoff. Now let's see if they can capitalize. And he shut the door on that last play. The Avs move to the offensive zone. Pass to Hughes. Dallas plays it along the wing. Save James. I mean, that's just all about competing, finding a way to get to the puck. Denied by a Newton. The Avalanche have possession along the boards. Now he takes it over the line. And he slides it quickly to Wang. Glove save. Quick pass to Hughes. 
Carries the puck through the neutral zone. And he easily stops that one. Can't maintain possession. Slides it over with pace to Foody. Fires it on net. Oh, that's blocked. What a stop by Helper. Good check. Frees the puck up. Redirected off a stick. Dallas looks to get things going down with the puck. Moves it quickly over to Hughes. Dallas plays it against the boards. From the back of the cage with the puck. Oh, scores! Well, that's number two, Pounder. Yeah, he's been all over the puck tonight. He's feeling it. He's confident. You gotta believe he's gonna be looking for the hat. Well, he certainly looks frustrated after letting that goal in, James. It's almost like a fielder in baseball. If you touch it, you should be able to stop it. And then he gets a big chunk of that one. Unfortunately, it goes in the netting. Dallas has to be feeling good as they near the intermission, Cheryl, extending this lead to two. They've worked hard to be in this position, James, and this isn't always the way it works out. Sometimes you're the dominant team and you don't find a way to capitalize, but they've been hard on the puck, they've found ways to get scoring chances, and they've executed. And serves up a little knock on the play. Puck picked up by Lynn. Sends it in front! What a chance, but that goes off target off a of body in front. And they continue to apply pressure here. Colorado's moving it up the ice. The Avs carried along the wall. Denies him on the slapper. Across the line. You know he stepped on your toes there, James, but had to react to that massive hit. Dishes it to Kelly. Quick pass across to Belmar. Takes the pass. have been rewarded for all their scoring chances tonight as they carry the lead late in this second period. And that'll bring an end to the second period of play. Let's get a clean sheet of ice and come back with the third period next. Save James. I mean, you can see that he's battling for position. You can see him moving up and down as his eyes are trying to track and find the puck. That's outworking your opponent and finding a way to make the save. Grabs possession of the puck. Stopped by the goaltender. From the left side, he moves it up ahead. Steele's going to play it against the half wall. My goodness, what a save by a Newton! And skilled use of the stick to put the puck away. And he can't hang on after that hit. And he totally whiffs on that one. And he's ridden off the puck. Moves it to Smith. And a nice takeaway in the defensive end by Kivaranta. Scrum along the wall. Dodonov's moving the puck through his own zone. Rocks him. The puck picked up in the open ice. The Avalanche have gained possession off the wall. Here we go, pucks in deep. Here's a chance to make something happen inside the neutral zone. Fires it! Oh, and the score! And that's back-to-back -back goals! Well, nothing like switching momentum and putting your opponent on their heels and getting two in a row back-to-back. -back. Here they come. And that puck is on and off his stick in a hurry, and it needs to be from that low zone slot area. James just beats the goaltender because he gets off his stick so fast.
Dallas has continued to run up the score here, even in the third. James, their opponent's been chasing the game all night long. Why? Because they have been persistent and relentless on the puck. When they've had it, they've owned puck possession, and they found ways to attack the net. Let's have a look at the scoreboard. It'll tell you exactly what this game's looked like. And that one's turned away. And the goalie covers up for the whistle. The Stars can simply take this on cruise control based on the lead that they now have here in the third. Play resumes here as he wins the draw inside the offensive zone. Hughes picking up steam. Here's a chance in front! And he denies that great opportunity there. The Stars have been peppering shots on goal all night long, and they continue to lead in the third. The Avs take possession off the faceoff. From the defensive zone, they move the puck around. Here they come up along the wing. Dallas has it in their own zone. Grabs the puck at center. The Avs gain control of the puck. Quick pass to McDonald. Colorado's been chasing this game right from the beginning of it, James. Right from the start of the game, they weren't ready to play. And even when you put in effort, they just weren't able to get any momentum going their way. Oh, what a stick save! That's a fantastic save by the goaltender, but this team has to do a better job of the deck. Oh, it's so good! What a stop! Wow, that's desperation at its finest to be able to get to that puck and send a clear message to this team that he's behind him. He's going to be the foundation tonight down by a bunch of goals and then you get running around with frustration and out of control and that's the reason why you took a penalty. Well, Sometimes a simple set on a power play is the most effective, James. We saw it earlier when you've got shooters, players that can just rip a bomb from the point. You want to make sure you got them set up and teed up along the blue line, but it doesn't Unless you get net front presence, you gotta get eyes in front of the tender. And the power play comes up big again! I love the various options that they have on their power play, James. Once the PK adjusts to one, they hit the other. I think he makes a really good read here, James. He anticipates the play well and gets himself square to the shooter, but unfortunately, this one hits him and he seems to be a little leaky because it finds its way to the back of the net. The Stars continue to attack the net here in period number three, adding yet another goal to their score. Well, it's been all areas of the game that have really been terrific tonight, James. I've also enjoyed the communication that we're seeing on the ice, not just the body language, but also the vocalness. I mean, and they're creating all over the ice. You and you have fun to watch. Colorado's got a hold of it against the wall. Moves the puck to Phillips. Takes the feed. Under a minute to go in the third. Here's a short pass to Steele. Enters the offensive zone from the left. Puts it on net. Oh, how did he get a piece of that to make the save? Dallas came ready to play tonight. Tons of scoring chances, and they lead it big time here late in this third. Steele's got the puck, and they'll go on the attack. And that goes off someone in front and doesn't reach the net. McDonald's got it in the defensive end. He got all of that one. Sends the pass over. Oh, what a stop as he uses his paddle to swat it away. Here's a shot. And this one is all over as the final horn sounds. Well, a solid victory, and you really got to credit both ends of the special teams here, Cheryl. Sometimes when you got a lot of specialty teams, in particular the power play, you can kind of get lulled to sleep with all that time and space. But wow, did they ever execute. There was urgency right across the board. That'll do it for tonight's EA Sports broadcast. Hey, look, plenty of action just around the corner, and we hope to see you then. Good night.